Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how I record the output from my Digitech Trio onto my computer so that I can use the output as backing tracks. Uh, I've got the original Trio here. The, uh, this is not the Plus, but the uh, process would be almost identical on the Plus as well. Um, I'm using the mixer out on the side of the Trio uh, to a quarter inch instrument cable. There is also a headphone out on the back that you can use. I believe the headphone out is stereo sound and the mixer out on the side is mono sound. I'm going to use the mixer out. Uh, and that instrument cable is going into the line in on my computer. Now my computer didn't have a line in so I bought a $7 USB audio adapter that has a line in on it and that's what the instrument cable is going into. I'm going to record the sound using Audacity. Here's the Audacity program. So in order to get this set up, I'm going to start the sound playing. You can see here the sound is playing on the trio. And I'll come into Audacity here and I'll click on the monitor just to make sure that I'm picking up that output from the trio. If you're not picking up the output from your trio, just adjust these settings over here. I'm using Windows Direct Sound and in this list I'm using Primary Sound Capture but just mess around with these until you find one that works for your computer where you pick up the output from the trio and you can see I'm getting it here. The other thing I want to mention is you want to make sure that you set the output level appropriately. You don't want the sound from your trio clipping. Uh, mine is not. You can see mine's not maxing out over here. If yours is or if the output level is not high enough use these two volume knobs on your trio for the bass and drums to adjust the, the volume of the output. I think if you're using the headphone jack on the back there's a separate volume knob for the headphone output that you would use to adjust uh, the output levels back there. Okay, so let's go ahead and record. I've got a very short loop in my trio. Uh, sounds ready to go. Let me turn it off. So the process is I'm going to go into Audacity, I'm going to click on the record button, I'm going to go to my trio, press this to start the sound playing, then I'm going to watch this light and wait for it to blink three time, four times, because you know if you use a trio that that signifies that the loop is at its end, that's the last measure of the loop. So I'll watch this when it blinks four times, I'm going to stop the sound by clicking this button, and I will stop recording in Audacity. Okay, so here we go. Clicking record in Audacity right now. Starting the sound playing on the trio, watching for that light to blink four times. One, two, three, four. Stopping the sound and stopping the recording. Okay, so I'm gonna put the trio aside. I'm done with that. And you can see that I have some trimming to do from the sound that I recorded. So I've got some silence on the front that I need to trim off. I'm going to zoom in right here, clicking this button. And we'll adjust that selection. And then I'll hit the delete key to clear that silence. And the other thing I want to do is I want to listen to the sound and I want to trim here. Let me zoom so I can see the entire track here. There's some silence on the end here and there's also some additional sound because I let the sound loop around a little bit. So I'm just going to count and when I get to the one of when it's when the track is done uh, I'll, I'll stop the sound. Here we go. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, pause. Okay. This here, I hit the pause button to get this line here. This here, this beat right here, is the first beat of the next pass of the loop, and I don't want that, I just want the one pass of the loop. So I'll zoom in on that, and we'll adjust the selection so we don't get any sound from the next pass of the loop. And again, I'll hit delete on my keyboard here, and we'll zoom back out so we just see the loop. And then I want to test to make so I've trimmed the front of the sound I recorded and I trim the back so that I have nice full measures of sound for my loop. 
And I can test that to make sure it works by holding the shift key on my keyboard and pressing the play button in Audacity and listening to my loop play. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So there it goes, it looped very nicely and the beats were where they should be. So I've got a good loop here in Audacity. I would go ahead and save that by going to File, Export, Save as Wave and save it anywhere on my system. And that's it. Pretty easy to record the output from your Digitech Trio onto your computer so that you can use it in your DAW or in the Live Looper application. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.